Good morning. It is Kay. And it's Gogo. And we're here in Muscat Oman, everyone. We are here in Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque and it looks incredible. So we're going to take you in and we're going to have a look before later going for lots of Omani food. Omani food. Ooh, I love that. Wow, what a beautiful mosque. So the entrance for the mosque is free and non-Muslims like myself can also visit uh, from 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock. Um, 8 a.m., 11 a.m. 8 a.m. till 11 a.m. that is. Now you do need to be obviously dressed correctly. So no transparent clothes with your arms and your legs covered and also your hair must be covered as well. You can rent um, clothes and scarves if you don't have them with you just outside and that's two real. 500. 500 if you wanted to do that we always have a scarf in our bag just in case we come across religious places and it's not often I've got my legs out anyway <laughs> only, got my only on the beach and Gogo -Go has these really handy shorts which zip on and become, and become trousers. full trousers which is this really good and really really good for traveling as well so we're going to take you around and show you this beautiful mosque <laughs> this mosque has got four uh, one minaret is really bigger than the other ones and the four same level minarets and in total they it's got five minarets and from outside the gardening it's has been done absolutely beautiful as you can see it looks like a carpet the grass looks like a carpet and the maintenance actually carried on at the moment it's not just this mosque all over uh, Muscat <laughs> we've been the maintenance and outside cleanliness, cleanliness absolutely yeah, super yeah it is unbelievable it is And there are so many people coming in as well because it only have like limited time, is it? Until 11 o'clock. So this Three mosque hours. was actually uh, finished building in 2001, so it's a relatively new mosque as well. Yeah, and there's a couple of 25,000 people yeah. as well for the praying same time. Yeah, yeah new mosque, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The marble is very, very beautiful. We've got to take our shoes off, obviously, to go inside. And you place them just on the back. So the prayer hall that we've just been into is in fact the ladies prayer hall. And the thing I particularly loved about that is apart from the beauty of the room, but I loved the doors. I loved the carvings on the wall and I also absolutely loved the chandeliers. I've never seen such chandeliers before. So that is the ladies prayer hall. So this is the ablution place and this is where people get washed. Before praying you have to get washed. It's called ablution. It is late in the afternoon and it's time for the food. It's nearly iftar time. Iftar is when you're fasting, you break your fast with the sunset. So we're gonna go and we're gonna have some iftar food here in Oman. It is time to eat sunset and to break the fast. Start with delicious. I don't know where it is from. Normally they are from Arabia. Dates. Mm. 
date is so sweet. If you ever taste a date before, you know what I mean. But if you never, I suggest you taste the date. Date is so sweet and delicious. So it's the tradition to break the fast with the date in Muslim community. And obviously, need some water as well. May Allah forgive our sins. So, we went for this feast, Majboos. This is Majboos. You get it with red or white meat. Well, we picked the camel meat because camel meat is very, very tradition and famous in this part of the world. Makboos or makboos is they cook the meat with onion and garlic and the rice with saffron as you can see the yellow colors and cardamom as well so that makes a creamy texture and after then they put the spices like nuts and the sultanas and the onions as well and the garlic and bring it to your table and it's also known as celebration food it's very very famous wedding food makbusis we are so lucky to taste this delicious food this is rocket i don't know if it's rocket in your country as well in england we call it rocket in turkey we call it roca but we have them small in england i don't know what you what is it called in your country please let us know on the comments it comes with lemon and we have chili flakes and chili paste and potato gravy. Mm. Yeah, that looks really nice texture. As well. Yeah, potato gravy. And Gogo's favorite. Onion. Chunky onion. Chunky, chunky mm -hmm. onion with a lemon. And I want, this is Lebanese bread because Gogo doesn't eat without bread. <laughs> <laughs> Lebanese bread, Leban. What? Is a drink made from yogurt buttermilk and salt so what we have here yeah. taste so this is called this one here is called fatouche salad and it's very very popular here um, in arab countries it's cucumber tomato it's lettuce it's onion and it's got quite a vinegary dressing and also these crunchy croutons on the top Lemon on your rocket. Mm. Lemon on your onion. Mm, that lemon is so juicy. juicy yeah. So this meat is camel meat. It's cooked with onion and garlic first. Oh. Wow. That, is, that looks really dark, that piece. That is, yeah, that looks... Oh. Looks like camel steak. It smells really amazing. Look at that. It's just like falls apart like shreds wow. shreds it itself. Wow. Well, garlic hits you, onion hits you, and the cumin it is so delicious, so tender, so soft. It is so delicious. As you can see the wow. as you can see the tenderness, it's just like falls apart. There's a little fat on it as well, just a little. Oh. This is cooked to perfection. The chef made an art with this camel meat. Saffron and cardamom. Saffron is very famous. It's, saffron is actually Iranian, but they use quite a lot in this part of the world as well. And we have in Turkey as well some saffron. As a rice lover, I never had rice in my life. This rice, you can get the spiciness from the spices and sweetness from cardamom and saffron. 
Wow. This rice is next level rice. <laughs> this rice is so creamy, so... Look at this, it's not sticky, it's perfect. Everything is perfect. The spice level, the crunchy vegetables in there, onion, the salt level, the saffron, the cardamom, everything is actually at the perfection. This is so nice. Big chunks Big chunk of potatoes, potatoes, yeah. That gravy is sweet. Sweet. The rice, sweet and spicy. And the gravy got the texture of potato and some garlic in it as well. I can say some cumin. Wow. I am really looking forward to trying this camel meat. It feels like a steak. It smells so fragrant. And I'm gonna try some of the meat first of all. Mm. So I've not eaten camel meat before. I've only had a camel burger, which obviously is a mince texture. What I'm surprised about is that this could be mistaken for beef. It actually looks the same colour. This piece here is a lot bigger and it's kind of on a bit of a bone. But this piece here is really, really tender and the rice is cooked beautifully. That saffron that you can taste and the cardamom in that rice This is like little lentils and chopped up onion, this part here. Mm. No. In there, as well as the lentils, is sultanas. Sultanas that are sweet, but with the onion, they caramelize and it's delicious. But what I'm really excited about trying is this. This delicious potato in this tomatoey gravy. Just look at that. Mm. That is wonderful. It's actually really, really sweet and very tomatoey. I love it with the rice. Oh, I've got a cardamom pod there and I don't know about anybody else, but I like to eat them. Mm -hmm. Right, I've been told this is very spicy. Is the taste spicy? It is spicy, but you can easily handle it. Mm. So it's not very, very spicy. It's creamy, like peppers. Like It's made from fresh peppers. Mm. It's not from herbs, but fresh peppers. Mm. I don't know if you've seen something first time ever. I took a small bite because mm. I wanted to taste that very, very spicy pepper. It's so nice, so delicious, lemony, peppery, and some kind of juice in there as well like um, might be some pickle juice as well in there I can taste it but it's so delicious hand rubbing the hand rubbing <laughs> Google likes this So good. 
that dressing is the serious, the salad mm. we needed. Mm. We miss salad so much, but that dressing yeah. is delicious. That dressing is absolutely delicious. So we're not sure what dressing it is that you used here in Oman. Um, so we're not dress sure if the dressing what's on this Fatou salad, but if you could let us know in the comments, we would really, really appreciate that. Because in Turkish food, we use like a pomegranate dressing, and it tastes a little bit similar to either a pomegranate or a type of balsamic dressing. Would you say so? It feels like I got lemon, olive oil, either balsamic or pomegranate. Yeah. Pomegranate. It's so similar to Turkish dressing. Yeah. That's why I really like this salad. It's yeah, so delicious. Yeah, so good. Yogurt, buttermilk, and salt. I put under this one. Mm. And it's called Leban? It's called Leban. The only difference is buttermilk from the Turkish Iran. It is Leban. It's so delicious, I miss this drink. <laughs> Finish the night off with Omani tea. How nice of a gesture. Wow. It's got cardamom in it. It's got saffron, it's got like cloves as well. It's so nice. It is really nice, I can't say. There's like cardamom and cloves. Oh, we used to do them in Turkey as well, like cook the tea with cloves or cinnamon. But this one is so delicious. You know what? Best way to finish your night. <laughs> wow, I really wasn't expecting that. That is delicious. Black tea, slightly got a little bit of sugar in, so I don't mind it because we don't like things really sweet, so we don't like sugar in our drinks and coffee and things. But as well as the coffee being amazing in Oman, the tea is amazing too. So, wow, we're coming back, Oman. We hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us, seeing the beautiful Grand Mosque, and then tasting this delicious food. Please make sure to give us a like, a comment, and if you could subscribe to our channel, we really do appreciate it. We are quite a new channel, we're not even a year old yet. By just clicking that subscribe button, it really helps our channel. And thank you so much to all of our new subscribers, all of the suggestions, and all of the wonderful comments. We appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to leave the final word to the man himself, to go go. Are we still hungry? Not tonight. Hit the bell button and you won't miss the next adventure. We love you all. See you later everyone. Bye bye from Oman. Bye bye from Muscat.